Hello, everybody. Thanks for waiting. We had a small technical difficulty. We're here for Retronauts Lunch Break for Friday. Whatever day this is, I never know what it is. It's the 26th. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm, I'm Bob Mackey. And uh, I'm jumping the gun. I'm Jose Otero. Yeah. What's up? We're both full of energy for some reason. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. And today we're playing Evo. Which is a very interesting choice, Bob, because I don't know anything about this game. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. I actually didn't do a lot of research for this uh, particular episode. Did I not? I played, I played through the entire game before. Uh, did I you play it when you were a kid, or did you play this as an adult? I played it as an adult on an emulator, because the game is a little unfair. But this game is from uh, Enix. It was made by Almanic, or however you say that. And it's sort of like Tokyo Jungle meets Spore, uh, although, you know... 20 years before that. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, please tweet in, as always, to at Retronauts on Twitter, R-E-T-R-O-N-A-U-T-S, and you'll give us some help, hopefully, with uh, whatever horrible creation that we make in this game. Yeah, I. Uh, so I only know two things about this game, so can I say them now so I don't have to talk about them later? Yeah. <laughs> the first one is that you are listening to the awesome sounds of Koichi Sugiyama, yep. who, if you know your NX, you know is the composer for the Dragon Quest series. That's correct. Um, the only other thing I know about this game is actually that the developer went on to do Wonder Project. Uh, I think that's just the sequel. Um, Although it could be wrong. Uh, it's one of the Wonder Projects. Wonder Project J... How yeah. many Wonder Project? There's only two. Sequel? Yeah, there was I think J and J2. Yeah. I think they did both of them, actually, but the second one they did is a different company. Right. Go figure. So this is uh, basically the setting up the game. Uh, we're going to play through many different evolutionary periods. Well, unfortunately, probably going to only play through two in this video because they take a bit of time. But you're kind of playing out the evolution of uh, Earth's creatures, although, you know, it's obviously fictionalized because nothing uh, I don't know very few things that you play as actually exist in the game I like game. what they're doing with her hair I wish <laughs> that uh, current like 3D games like someone would slap a texture on something that did that I love that it's like the earth from cool. above but like yeah it's yeah, really cool I like very, that very very cool yeah. Um, so yeah I guess I'm playing the spirit of some I, I'm not sure like who I am playing as exactly but let's do a little quick save I'm going to be quick saving from time to time just because this game is a little unfair at, at points mm -hmm. um, yeah uh, let's see. Oh, hey, what's up, Mikey? <laughs> we have a visitor. Oh, yeah, just checking. Uh, so we have a little world map, I guess, kind of. Um, yeah. So this is not here. Super Nintendo's answer to Echo the Dolphin, is it? Like oh that's God, not some no. sick fanboy, like whatever. So because I mean, you are in the water, and you know, Echo had like the whole dolphin thing. Yeah. So right now I'm just a fish. Okay. What are you doing? And, oh. You have <laughs> HP. I do. I have experience points, HP, all kinds of cool stuff. So, what? We have another newcomer. Okay. Welcome to the world where the rule is only the fittest shall survive. Look, yeah. newcomer. Okay. So, listen to the rules, fight and survival. Okay. So, so the hook here, you are leveling up. This is all sort of like a real-time action RPG, right? From yeah. What I can tell. And to thank the jellyfish for being helpful, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> So you yeah, been eaten by Bob Mackie. I like that. It turns into a little. So what is that? That that has shown up in a bunch of games. It's that, a, that a specific big, a big ham hock meat. or something. Yeah, that was in Zelda. That was in uh in this. I guess I've seen that everywhere. It's basically like the Looney Tunes iconography for a big slab of meat. Mm, okay, I like it. Even in Japan, they love those Looney Tunes, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah, this uh, unfortunately the going's gonna be a little slow in the beginning because um, all I can do is basically <laughs> basically just do that. And uh, I'm just working my way up to gain enough um, Evo points so I can make this, this little fishy into something a little more terrifying. Okay, so just to set the stage a little bit for this a little more, so you evolve into other forms, right? Besides this sort of fish form. Oh, like yeah. You eventually like, become like a land creature, Yeah, the first, et cetera, et the et entire first stage, uh, each stage follows a different like period in evolutionary yeah. history. Like I said, the science is very uh, loose. Don't base any like term paper on what you like Evo, <laughs> search for Evo. I wish someone would base a term paper <laughs> on this. That would be actually kind of uh, cool. Animals, so I, like, uh, I like these effects they're going on here. The, the water above, and then when you go down, you see that little school of uh, what I want to assume is sharks, given the large fin that they have. Yeah. You see that on the bottom uh, bottom left or right? Oh, yeah. There's, like, schools of fish swimming in the background. They're mm -hmm. probably sharks. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm yeah, basically, like, this is the technically an action RPG, so there's going to be a lot of grinding. Sure, uh, sure. I'm going to try to make it interesting, because the most fun in this game is designing uh, weird animals. And I'm kind of sad that very few games have done this since, because it's a really great idea. Mm -hmm. And I mean, Spore did that. I didn't play Spore, but I've heard enough about it to know that maybe it didn't really live up to what no, it was trying yeah, to be. No, yeah, I, I did play that game. I, I specifically bought that game because of a lot of the hype surrounding it. I think yeah. there was some cool stuff at play, but there wasn't 
And it unlike, wasn't nearly as deep as what I thought it was going to be. That's what I heard. And unlike yeah. Spore, this game is uh, just one kind of game. Mm -hmm. I know Spore had multiple kinds of games that. Yeah, were, uh, yeah. There was like an RTS sort of going on. There was a, yeah. Right. I, I don't even remember too much. I did like Spore's Creature Creator though. I thought that was a really cool idea. Um, just like, to, I, I guess bring up our last thing about Spore. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you just got <laughs> slapped like by a jelly. <laughs> I, have, I, have I like the sound that it made too. It was like a like leather on a, on some <laughs> kind of like yeah some kind of surface. Yeah, I, I, have a, I have a triangle button attack. I don't think it does anything at this moment because okay. uh, you're not evolved enough yet. No, I'm gonna see. So here we're at my. Uh, let's uh, see if anyone tweeting in at Retronauts on Twitter. Any? Yeah, any I actually have been checking. Hopefully, uh, uh, people haven't dropped out because we started a bit late. Yeah, tell your friends if they did drop out. Hurry up, watch we're Retronauts back. on We're Twitter. back. We're back. Exactly. So um, you can see in this menu. Oh, sorry, Jose. Oh no, tweets? that's okay. There are a few, but okay. you can tell me about this menu um, before. Let's this menu uh, is basically uh, see some things are not available because we don't have a neck, we don't have a back of a head, so we can't add things to it. But uh, you basically grind and add things in order to, uh, you know, make your monster a little scarier. So you're, so you're buying, essentially, like, things you want, sort of like you would outfit a character in an RPG. Right, exactly. Yeah, okay, cool, and I, th cool. like, really the main premise of this game is get as leveled up as you can to fight the final boss of each level. Okay. Because, I mean, that's what all of this is for. Yeah, this is totally an art. That's the RPG, like, uh, I guess, design philosophy, right? right? Like, level up your character, get out there. Interesting. Right. I, I, I like uh, Mike. So Mike on Twitter, I can't say your last name, dude, so I'm not going to, uh, <laughs> says, who knew the immutable laws of survival could be so cute? And I have to agree. Like, there is something really cute this about, game is uh, a, is adorable. about this <laughs> game. Yeah. From, from the, even, like, visually, like, the sound as well. Like, there's yeah. something almost, like, lighthearted. Despite the jellyfish saying, hey, dude, what's up? It's killer be killed. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the world. <laughs> yeah, that's literally <laughs> what he told you. Yeah. <laughs> he he could have just said that. Um, and he looks so sad when you ate him. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Let's ask our friends on uh, Twitter. What should I? The first thing I should buy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it at maybe 200 experience points because I don't want you guys to sit here and watch me eat jellyfish for the next half an hour. Okay. <laughs> so, so yeah, uh, if you're on Twitter, tweet in at Retronauts. What kind of thing upgrade should I get? Should it be uh, body armor or whatever you want to call it in fish terms, or uh, maybe a better jaw for a better attack? Because basically, all of these. Um, let me go back to it. All of these. All of these sort of line up with different like RPG things, like so we have like attack and defense and uh, movement speed and you know evasion stuff like that. Sure, sure. So let's go. Yeah, whatever. There is a lot to buy. I'm kind of surprised by all, like you got dorsal fin like upgrades here. <laughs> like yeah. What's up with that? So these are my stats, I guess. I'm a yeah. fish. Uh, yeah. Record of evolution. Oh, that's a save. That's a save. Okay, we're good. And do you see any sort of... Ooh, uh, look at that guy. Oh, wow. Whoa, whoa. Look out for do him. <laughs> okay. Um, do you see any parallels between this and, say, Wonder Project? Uh, um, what we brought up earlier, like outside of it being sort of an RPG? Well, in that you're raising an animal. In the Wonder Project's case, it's a robot. Okay. Um, Interesting. Yeah. Interesting even to hear that the same studio took this sort of a similar idea, but in a totally different direction. So like here's, a, here's our weird instead. little world map, which I like. Yeah. Uh, so I think uh, does anyone suggest you look like a much bigger fish on I that do. world map? By the I way, do. I don't know. Like <laughs> I, I just wanted to point that out. Okay, so a couple of tweets have come in. Uh, first of all, TV's Mr. Neil brought up the, how we were talking earlier about um, sort of the slab of meat. Ooh, oh wow, it's super dude, meat. That was amazing. Uh, that was like Meat Boy's parents. <laughs> uh, you just say uh, he brought up that you can play as a piece of meat in Fighters Mega Mix, um, which I don't know. Have you? You don't play fighting games, right? Uh, I mean, I know about Fighters Mega Mix because it's so weird, but uh, mm, okay. yeah, that that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see what else. Hmm. Okay. So Pixel Jojo says that he's uh, he's loving the cartoon style. This game looks like a good game to take up the day. Uh, any idea on completion time? How long would it take to get through this? Oh boy, Do it's not remember? that long. Maybe like six to eight hours. Six I guess. Eight? I mean, okay. if you want to grind out your animal to get everything, maybe a little bit longer because th this game makes that entirely possible. I mean, yeah. it is an RPG, an older RPG. But uh, since we haven't gotten any comments, let me. Um, I'll just upgrade something at random here. Well, not at random, but you know. Uh, let's see. I, yeah, we haven't gotten it. Well, remember, there's a delay, too, right. whenever a question goes out. So. Body. So let's let's upgrade to the scaly body. Why not? Okay. Mysterious time stream evolves you. Are you... Whoa. Uh, okay. Now Whoa. look at me. Look at me now. Okay. Yes. You're like, uh, you're like Goldie Hawn fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> okay. Um, I like it. 
Yeah, and depending on all of your changes, the animal that you're playing as can look much, much different than uh, other people's. I mean, there's really only one strategy, and that's to buy the best in thing in every category. But, I mean, you can always challenge yourself by saying, okay, maybe I won't power so through the game. So this got localized and brought here, but Wonder Project did not, right? It did not. Okay. No, uh, no, neither no Wonder no Project game got brought over here. Yeah. Oh, okay. my God. I think I might need to upgrade my uh, bike because these guys are not having my one hit, hit point. Uh, yeah. Maybe how many? Not. How many? Uh, how many do you need for a good upgrade for that? Uh, you know, this also reminds me of Tokyo Jungle. Sorry, just to go back to it, just because it is very like corridor, yeah, kind of based as well. Where like the levels in Tokyo Jungle, which is an excellent game if you haven't checked it out already, um, you know, they kind of unfold like an old school Metal Gear Solid, like yeah. Metal Gear Solid Two. I want to say more than three, because three feels a little more wide open. Whereas Tokyo Jungle, there's a lot of like narrow corridors, but you're constantly eating everything that's in those corridors, right. and then trying to level up and survive and stay alive. Yeah. I like, like that you brought up it, it also emphasized the stress of survival. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna just upgrade our bite or whatever really quick so we can actually stand a chance against these worms in this cave here. Yeah, you need a bigger um, bite. So we're gonna uh, get the uh, whatever, I can't say that. <laughs> Uh, jaws. That's either a like Saichi, Saichi. paleolithic fish or a horrible mistransliteration of a paleolithic mm -hmm. fish. But and oh, he's he mad like an now. Angry fish. Whoa, now, whoa, now he's got teeth. teeth. It Holy cow! It gave him teeth and made him angrier. Dude, this is like Looney Tunes meets Evolution. Like, what's yeah. going on? No, I, one thing about this game, like I said, it, it could be better as a game. It's really just grinding for parts, but the, the creature designs are really cool, and you can make very different looking creatures depending on what you decide to. Uh, upgrade. Uh, so yeah, please tune in. Pokemon was like this. I'm oh sorry. my god, yeah, that would that would require some kind of ingenuity. Whoops. I'm oh sorry. my god, did you just? I like Pokemon. Yeah. I just think it needs to change. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, let's see. Retronauts on Twitter. R e t r o n e t s. So John Let Jetson uh, tweets in. I love this game and play it all the time to see what different kind of creatures I can make. I wonder too, like what? How many different variations of creatures can you have just because all those parts? And every it seems like every time you install a part, right? Um, I wonder if it's taking into consideration the parts you have along with what you just installed to sure give you a new look. I'm pretty sure it does. I think each part of this sprite has like a designated area for whatever you're adding on to mm. it. Like, see, there's a tail section, there's fin yeah, sections. Yeah, you got like a weird, yeah, like, I don't know, like a weird check like checkerboard going on in your midriff yeah, th there. Yeah, th that's What's my scales on? that I bought, so. Mm, okay. Yeah, this game is so much fun. I mean, it's so simple, but... Uh, See, it's but great. something like this like works really well. I think for uh, I, I just wonder how it stretches out across six hours. Like I'd, I'd love to see like a later playthrough, and see what it looks like. You know what I mean? Like I what your animal looks like, what you look like. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, each each uh, stage has a different sort of animal. I think uh, you missed an awesome part of some text here. Rumors circulate amongst the cucumbers. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, real quick too, just to mention before I go back to tweets. Um, look up the box art for this game because the American box art has like dinosaurs and shit. Like yeah. That. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. It, I think it did a good job of selling people on a weird idea like this because 1992, like no one was expecting this sort yeah. of a game. Okay, this, this is was before the sh really shitty Jurassic Park games came out. Yeah, um, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the Super Nintendo one, but maybe there's someone out there who d who is. Uh, okay, on a scale from uh, this one comes from Ru C O T G W. Oh, on that's uh, one of the RetroWare.TV guys. He hey. does a lot of great videos, so check his videos out if you get a chance. So you got a, a question from him on a scale from Bambi to ODLer. How traumatic was the end of the dinosaurs seen in Evo? Oh, the end on the, I guess the end of the dinosaurs. Uh, I didn't cry, but I felt I felt bad for those guys. Yeah. So let's upgrade so something. So you see like the comet come down in like mode uh, seven graphics and just. It's <laughs> clear that your work has uh, <laughs> really didn't really amount to anything. That sucks. Um, <laughs> that's true, but I mean it sucked for the dinosaurs too. Mm. So let's uh, let's buy something Bob else. Di Bob Mackie, dinosaur enthusiast. Hands and feet. Uh, let's upgrade our fin. Maybe we can be a little faster. Yeah, I like that plan. Or uh, you want to wait till you get to five hundred? Or let's see, sailing dorsal fin. That might be better for me. Okay. Or a tail. All right. See, there's so many options. Is what I like. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this. And you evolve. Whoa! Check it out, guys. Holy cow! Now you look like a fish from the '90s. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally. So I'm gonna save because I think there's a boss or kind of tough character here. Whoops. Something <laughs> in your body speaks. That was totally a Dragon Quest uh, like fanfare. Hmm. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. You need a crystal to evolve? What's going on here? Uh, it's kind of like tutorial advice. They're just telling you uh, what each body part upgrades, like what part of your uh, stats. 
Yeah. So it's very much couched in RPG terms, but um, not RPG terms like RPG uh, elements, but the terms are different. So Pixel, Do Pixel Dojo asked what year uh, did this game come out? The graphics are very impressive. Oh, it's 93, I believe. Wow, okay. 92 or 93. Yeah, it looks great. Oh, they are doing a lot. Look at look at that little like swimming motion going on back there in the caves. Yeah, yeah. that's definitely... So uh, what, do, what do bosses look like? I mean, are they huge fish or something? Like yeah, they're they're huge and annoying. The bosses in this game are extremely cheap. It's one thing I don't like about this game. Uh, okay. the, ba the bosses can be bounced better because it's basically like if you get to the boss and you have upgraded everything mm -hmm. to the max level, you're kind of screwed. Oh, what the um, hell were those? You just see shrimp? Those are sea, cu uh, sea cucumbers. Oh, okay. So yeah, this is. Uh, I'm gonna get out of this cave so I can move on with my life. Yeah. <laughs> we can all move on with our lives. Who played this game and then went into like studying like zoology and and, na and, and and like water aquatic life? It's cool. I like. I also wonder if any creationists hate this game. <laughs> 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 Teach the controversy. Uh, although I guess you are the intelligent designer in this yeah, case, yeah, so yeah, who yeah. knows? It's all on you. This game does posit the existence of uh, a god. God didn't create so anything. Let us I, I chose the dorsal Let thing. us know if you're offended by Eva, the search for Eva, <laughs> and we will promptly uh, ignore you. Yes. Um, um, okay, so uh, let's see. The meat graphic also reminds me of Bonk. This is from Mike C. again. Um, yeah, I love I that. I keep expecting your fish to do a rolling head jump into other creatures. Like, Ooh. you know, the, the Bonk's Adventure. Turn yeah. Graphics. Yeah. I, so I like I like one games. Yeah. I that's the one system I know like little to nothing about. I swear. I just remember the the cartridges look like flat little like. They were called hue cards. Whoa. Okay. Uh, don't ask me what that means, but yeah. uh. So wait, why are you only going to two zones? What the um, hell? Um, I'm trying to get out of this cave zone. I'm not sure how to do that yet. Uh, but uh, okay, I'm gonna upgrade okay. one more body part before I leave. I, I at least want to get to the sh the shark boss. Yeah. See, this is why I do homework the night before. <laughs> hey. <laughs> and figure this shit out. That's that's for our friends at home to help. I know, I know. That's true. So if you're a friend at home and you have a YouTube handy, can you <laughs> tell us where <laughs> or Game Facts on on? Oh, well, we tried Game Facts last time, but that was hard. Yeah. Yeah. Was that for Deja Vu? Yeah, it was for Deja Vu, which uh, someone tweeted a Deja Vu joke at the start of this thing. I'm not going to read it. <laughs> oh, whoa. Again? <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that David Oxford? No. Okay. Uh, someone else. So uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's, let's upgrade another part of my body before we move on okay. here. Uh, how about a horn? Horn. Oh, fish don't have horns. What are you? What? This fish has got an awesome horn. Spiraled horn. All right. You're going to look like a unicorn. Thanks, Let's Mysterious see. Time Let's Stream. See. Yeah. What? Holy sh! Look you're out, everybody. Swordfish. <laughs> hey, hey, you're getting wrecked, dude. What are you trying to I'm, do? I don't think I'm getting wrecked. It took way too <laughs> oh, hit points. Hit. Sorry, yeah, that's true. Hey, uh, it's, I like super meat. Like glows like the uh, invincibility uh, thing in Mario. Very cool. Sweet. So we got any tips coming in? Uh, we have. Remember, Retronauts, R E T R O N A U T S. TV's on Twitter. Mr. Mr. Neil says they are called Hue cards because they were developed by Hudson. Oh my God! So they're Hull cards. Then. Uh. <laughs> thank you. Cool, Mr. Huh? Neil. Yeah, thank you. I didn't know that. My my life is now better. Somehow. So John Judson says you need to evolve farther so you can walk on dry land, isn't it? I thought so. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So let's do that. Thank you, John Judson. Hands and feet. Saving. This live stream, so we're not swimming the whole time. No, I don't know. Is what? it hands and feet? Uh, he just it. says walk on dry you land. Know what, I would do that. I'm doing some cheats here. <laughs> oh, are you? Yeah, I'm, oh, I, I just quick saved. Stating. I want to yeah, make sure yeah, that. Yeah. Can I can I get on land with this with this? Ah, shit. Hmm. Yeah. I can move a ton faster though. That's good. Okay. So like flying like a uh, like Samus with that power suit upgrade. So look how cool my fish looks now. I like yeah, it. Yeah. No. I do. I don't know if "cool" is the word yet. It looks like a. He looks like a punk rock. Looks uh, like a kindergartner's like a uh, really like draw the pretty fish, and then they <laughs> add like everything to it. This fish has got I mean? a mohawk. He uh, looks like Goku. Yep. Yeah, yep. this fish went super saiyan. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I was gonna bring that up. Oh, you he should be grunting and squatting and screaming. Ah, oh, look! It almost oh. he got hit. All right. Uh, I love yeah. how in uh in in games the universal language for you've been hit is the X's across your eyes and your mouth wide open like a gape. Yeah. Like, oh my god. Like, at least in like 16 bit in uh, 8 bit games. That could also mean that you're dead. Yeah. Like, remember punching Bald Bull in the face and seeing that happen? You see oh, his eyes yeah. like little, like, like, uh, anyway, that's off topic. I'm sorry. That's but okay. Yeah. So, so I, why I'm can't you eat that yellow stone over there? Oh, I did. It gives you, it gives you hints. Okay. Um, basically, right. the cucumbers are like, hey, dude, you need legs. <laughs> uh, you better, you better fork on that. Eat some meat, get some legs. Pixel Dojo digs your horn. Thank uh, you. Yeah, he says the horn is awesome. I like the horn. It's not really doing much for me, but. It's decorative. Maybe it scares away enemies. I don't know. Yeah, uh, Rue just uh, brought up the Sugiyama thing. Yeah, we said that earlier, dude. It's this. This music sounds like a dungeon in Dragon Quest, actually. Yeah. 
Or maybe like a, a sorrowful, sorrowful world map theme from like Dragon Quest Two or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So but even the fanfare you brought up earlier. If you're yeah, just you if, you hear that. yeah, if, if you're just tuning in, yeah. go ahead. This is Evo Search for Eden for SNES. Um, this is Retronauts on Trek. I'm Bob Mackey. This is Jose Otero is with me. Yes. And uh, we are playing this game and trying to get some legs. As okay. is the goal for all animals, really. So you don't have legs. Come on, get with it. So Jesse on Twitter brings in, uh, just leave from where you came, left on the, of the screen, outside of the cave. Oh, really? Uh, you don't need to walk yet. Oh, thank you. I was confused. Thanks for the hint. Okay. And we'll move on with our lives. At least everything from this point on is going to be super easy to yeah. eat. So when do your HP and uh, your health points and everything, like when that, does that go up? That goes up based on things that you buy. Okay. Uh, things okay. that you evolve into, rather. Yeah. So none of this eating is leveling in the sense that, uh, you know, once you hit a certain experience point or yeah, cap, you, it's, you it's go like up. It's you just buy parts. You decide what to buy. Say it like um, that. That's how action games kind of do it now, too. Yeah. Right? You don't level in action games. Oh, look at that. We're done. <laughs> to be that fair, that, that level design was misleading. It just is mm -hmm. a dead end and you have to back your way out of it. For sure. Yeah. So let's do a little save in here. Okay. And uh, we'll move on. Yeah, we're, we're getting a bunch of tweets how we can't get legs yet now. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Delay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank where you, were you? Delay. Where, where were, were you, you like three minutes ago? So, yeah, this game is great. What do you think of it, Jose? Do you so far, play I'm it? impressed. Yeah, I think I would. I will play this. Put it on your um, Wii. I still haven't. Shh, <laughs> you can't talk about <laughs> <All right>. that. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, I didn't say how. Yeah, tell me about it. Uh, <laughs> anyway, God, <laughs> that was great. I give you props for that. Oh my God, what are you doing? I don't even know what those and are. And he's angry. You just ate my wife. <laughs> no. I love how everything turns into a little steak. Hmm. So you have to stop and actually eat each steak, huh? That's uh, one thing that we you do, on yeah. Eventually, yeah. But outside of that, I'm, I'm still very impressed. Um, you know, I think I will definitely. Uh, also, David Osford asks, "Is this available on Virtual Console?" No, no. it is not. How uh, how unfortunate. Yeah, really. I mean, well, like how much is, uh, cool stuff is not on Virtual Console oh, yet. God. Yeah, sad. I wish they'd do like an import section and put stuff like, uh, what's that Bionic Commando um, Super Nintendo game? What happened to me? <laughs> oh, shit, you're Neil. <laughs> um, uh, what, what was that? Uh, uh, Kawazu? I can't remember the exact... Um, that exact name. You know that Super Nintendo game that plays kind of like Bionic Commando, but it's not oh, just the Girl uh, with the Umbrella? Oh, uh, Kawase. Yeah, Umihara, Kawase something. Umihara Kawase. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, that would be great. Like, uh, imagine an import section of Virtual Console where you can just grab a bunch of Super Nintendo games that well, never they, came out Well, they here. used to do that. There, were, there used to be a few um, a few import games. I mean, there still are. You can get the uh, Mylan Secret Castle sequel and a few other Japanese-only. But, but it's only. still really small. Yeah. Like, it, I don't know. Because it's virtual inventory, like, would it really kill them to put that and make it available? I say no. Yeah. I'm going to push my agenda now. So I'm not sure what that crystal did. It evolved me into something else temporarily. Then it was like, nah, you're going back to normal, dude. Sorry. So, hey, look at all these points I have. Let's buy something awesome. So Derek Harvey uh, brought up, you can't bring, you can't get legs yet. We know that. Yep. Thank you. Uh, you have to beat the boss first, and then you become the lizard. Exit, stage, left. <laughs> yeah. So body. Let's, wanna, wanna, let's get bigger. How about that? Okay. No oh, man. Wait, what happened to the eel? Oh, it turned me back into a fish because it's like, you're not ready for this yet. Oh, Look okay. at this oh my monster. Good I've become. lord, what the hell <laughs> is Everything that? in my path is going to die now. Jesus Christ. So how big can this character get? We're talking this, like this dinosaur, like T-Rex. This might be the biggest this fish can get. What about bigger, like the, the thing that eats the T-Rex in Jurassic Park 3? Did you make it that far in those The movies? dinosaurs are not that big. I mean, they're all in relative size to each other, but their their starting size is not like the size of your screen or whatever. <laughs> That'd be yeah. an interesting game. You just see a yeah. foot come out. That's <laughs> Bob. And he just I want to play as a dinosaur from uh, Joe and Matt Caveman Ninja, but that's not going to happen. Do you ever see humans in this game? Uh, y I believe that's the last stage. And you eat them? Uh, well, I mean, you start as a monkey. Uh oh, that's a little. That's controversial. This game. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Controversy. Oh, yes. Uh, jaws. Let's. Can we get awesome jaws yet? Mm, maybe not. Horns. I don't need a horn. Body. Hands and feet. I'm just uh, my so George are. Tordoff on Twitter says, I'm not familiar with Evo, but from what I know, it has a morphing mechanic similar to a boy and his blob. Please play that. A you know, that's another blob? game I have not played, a boy and his blob. Is um, that sacrilege? I wouldn't say the, the mechanic is that similar, yeah. actually, but I mean, I understand what you're saying. Okay. So is it sacrilegious to have never played a boy and his blob? <sighs> I've read a ton about that. I don't is that think Psy so. the <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, no, I, don't, I don't think it's sacrilege. All. I think oh, that game is a little uh, overrated. Okay. Because, uh, I mean, it did a lot of cool things, but it was a product of a guy who had developed a lot of Atari 2600 games. So it was all really user-unfriendly in a lot of cases. Look, those fish just ran away from me because I'm so <laughs> huge. Yeah. 
You're like, hang on, guys. <sighs> like, <laughs> I keep scaring away the happy fish. I thought you were fast. What happened? Uh, I became bigger, oh, okay. and that kind of cuts down on your mm -hmm. speed. Yeah. Can you buy an upgrade now? I like that you can buy it also at any time. Like, I don't know. Have we have we mentioned that at all? Uh, How I don't think so. That is. Yeah, that, that is really useful. Happy fish, get back here. I want to eat you. All right. Hmm. Okay. And the bigger body size is what brought up your HP, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I wish a bird would swoop down like to, a, to like awesome, skim the top uh, of the water and you can you can time jump out and eat them. That'd be a great bonus. I think I need yeah. to actually speed It'll also be a total role reversal because usually when the bird comes in, it's taking a fish. Anyway, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. I think I need to speed myself up so I can... Uh, yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be able to eat these guys first. Like, no, please don't eat us. Yeah. Gotta... Oh. Okay. Ooh. Whoa, what happened? The wall of bubbles has disappeared because of the explosion from the volcano. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Oh, and no. you're this getting is, hit by rocks. This is what I needed. Yeah. And you're really slow. So this is, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, this, this, this is what cool. killed the dinosaurs. They're too slow to You flayed. can double tap D towards to attack with your horn. Oh, oh look at that. It eventually break. That is Rue coming to our rescue. Thank you, Thank Rue. You. I like, I like how your fin yeah, <laughs> just kind of like flattens. Cause Jeez, oh man. You have to be like aerodynamic even though you're underwater. That's... Hydrodynamic. I'm I'm starting to get sick from the screen. I know. What's happening? Help <laughs> us! <laughs> all right, all come right. on! Oh God, Bob, 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 Bob! Whatever. Hey, Retro's lunch break is all about quick escapes. Jesus, one hit point. That's why we hit this quick save button. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, you want to save with one hit point? <laughs> sure. Oh, okay. I would have gone back to like one of the other zones. Because we can do that. Yep. I do. I am gonna get to the boss before we uh, end this, guys. Yeah, Don't worry. Yeah, we're at twelve thirty. Don't worry. You're doing yeah, fine. We're okay. Good. More. Um, more stuff from Twitter. Let's see. So, uh, Twink asked, do you ever get to be a bird in this game? Yeah. I, I was wondering that, too. You do? I'm pretty sure you do. Okay, Someone correct cool. me if I'm wrong, but I mean, I, I don't think they ignore that. Okay. Land animals only. Well, actually, land, sea, and air makes sense. Right? Yeah. Yeah. If you guys are wondering what I'm, what I'm doing, I'm just kind of getting my health back, and uh, in the process, I'm going to get something awesome for my fish. Mm. Uh, let's ask people on Twitter, at Retronauts, uh, what should I buy next? I'm pretty, I'm pretty buff as a fish, but I'm kind of slow. Is there anything that I need? Mm, I know I the sh the boss is kind of annoying at this level, but all right. Andrew Ryan on Twitter agrees with you that uh, I guess he's talking to me. I don't need to play a boy on his blob. Uh, play the Wii uh, version, right? Uh, it isn't all that it's cracked up to be. Yeah, I heard the Wii version was kind of cool. I heard I don't it's know. great. Since I don't know the series, I just thought, well, uh, do I really want to start now? So if it's great, I guess I will start with that one. That would be cool. It's it's a good game for the NES in that it's uh, complex, but the complexity is not really guided at all. So it's a lot of like smashing your head against things and, and wondering like why you're stuck without any kind of help from the game at all. Sure, sure. It's a very just like loose and unguided experience, and that's an odd thing for an NES game. So for a, for a quick second, I just realized can we uh, can we let people know why this was this week's selection? Oh yeah, well yeah. go ahead, Jose. Uh, so oh, I was gonna let you. I was oh. gonna tell you to do it. All right. <laughs> so yeah, this week on One Up, it is science and games. Um, it's all about. Your favorite scientists, your favorite games that deal with science, and so uh, I guess you chose this game because of its um, because it tackles <laughs> the idea because of evolution. Because of its uh, hilarious video game look at evolution, yeah, which is yeah. great. I like it. No, no, I, I agree. It's a really good choice. Um, so yeah, all week on the site you'll be finding game uh, articles that are tied to that, and there've been some pretty cool things from time travel. How does it work? Uh, you should check that out. Jeremy looks at like every form of time travel. My that's God, sort of this guy's in turning games. into me. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, that's okay. Uh, yeah, and we've got some other really cool stuff on the site as well. Yeah. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just I'm leveling up to get a uh, 700 so I can buy the best of So them. Jorge Torres says, tail for speed, dude. That's what I'm doing, guys. Yeah. I so don't want to be this slow anymore. Wait, how much more, uh, how much more do you uh, need to I get I think that? the best tail is 700 experience points. So I guess this isn't terrible grinding, too, because at least it's grinding that somehow feels manageable because you're, you're doing it yourself, right? It's real time versus, like, okay, here's another uh, random battle. Go through, like, all those menu selections. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. RPGs kind of burn me out that way, some of them, because I'll be like, Ugh, how many times? And I don't know if that's sacrilege to people, but <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you know, sorry. I'm awesome. Look at me now. Yeah. Oh, wait. You're nice. Yeah, that's a big fin. I'm so fat. <laughs> Eat the... <laughs> 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 All right. All right. I like that. <clears throat> Thanks for helping out, guys. Yeah, for sure. Everyone who's uh, tweeting. Keep tweeting in to Retronauts uh, on Twitter, at Retronauts on Twitter. Uh, so, Pixel Dojo, it reminds me of Skyrim in a way how everyone plays through will be different and some great conversations could be had. I guess that's true, right? That is true. Yeah. I do feel like the game... I like that. Good the observation. The game unfairly places an emphasis on one certain sort of loadout for your mm -hmm. character, even yeah. though it gives you many options. Yeah. Um, you really are supposed to just buy the most expensive thing in every category. Uh, and I think I think a sequel to this, if it came out, it would have been a little more thoughtful about that, but 
I enjoy it. I enjoy this. So you mean like something like unlock it slowly or make you have to go through like certain stages of, of stuff? Yeah, before? or like or like make more than one viable form for fighting yeah. a boss instead of like, okay, just get the best thing in every category and you'll you'll be able that to fight. That kind of happens boss. in a lot of games too, for yeah. the most part. Yeah. The minute you get like the best engine upgrades in uh something like Gran Turismo, you are like the fastest car but <laughs> and no one will catch you. Something like Dark Souls, you can totally ignore magic if you want, you can totally ignore melee attacks if you want. And yeah. there are, there's like so many viable options. You for can't ignore vitality, I'll tell you. Uh, uh, no, you can't do that. <laughs> yeah, that or uh, what is it? Endurance. Uh, whatever, to... whatever allows you to. Uh, I think it's endurance. Whatever allows you to carry things. That's something you need to work on. But yeah. so yeah, we are making our way to the boss of this area. Hope they can buy one more upgrade before then. Oh, look at this guy. Yeah. Ooh, take that. Ooh, you got. Was horned. that the horn? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it. I was looking at Twitter. I can do it again. Uh, so Pixel Jojo wants us to jump the gun and say what's next week's one-up theme, guys. Oh. And you know what? I'm actually going to be really curious to see what game you pick for next week. Oh, Jesus. Considering what next week's theme it is. It may be an unrelated. Do not say. It yeah, may be an unrelated gonna, It's going to have to be. Um, actually, I already have one in my head, but I'm not... Yeah, let's not do that. So let's check um, out... Um, you will find out, Pixel Dojo, all in good time. If you guys are patient, I will get the best jaw, maybe. I don't know if I'm going to be that patient. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to get up and leave. All right, Bob. I'm Later. Done. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> uh, no, these guys are actually worth a lot of uh, a lot of hit. I'm sorry, experience points. So it wouldn't take that long. Okay. So wh what's this boss? How big is this boss? Y you mentioned they're cheap. Uh, they are pretty cheap. It's mm -hmm. pretty big. It reminds me of uh, I don't know. It's a sh it's a shark. Okay. Oops. Can you uh, can you swap parts back and forth? Like hey, previously. Oh. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. You broke your horn. Yeah, you can you can swap, you can change parts. You look like a piranha now. For for a small cost, you can go back to your original form of some some body parts. Okay. I guess would it ever be worthwhile to do that? It sounds like no. If you make a mistake and you don't like something, then yeah, but or if you um, break your horn and need to buy a new one. Thankfully, I mean the horn is a limited use uh, upgrade. Okay. It's supposed to only last Where for a few attacks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I typically don't use the horn in this stage because uh, like, it's, I don't know. What you spend on the horn? Oh, you butthole! Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you just call that fish a butthole. Uh, that, was, by the was, way, that looks like a, that fish looks like a cross between an onyx and a onyx Pokemon, and I don't even know what else. Like that, it's kind of like rocky exterior. Look at that! Look yeah. at that! Yeah, it's like stone-like. If anyone knows if that has this, does that fish have a, like a real-life corollary? I like to know because I want to stay away from it. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, let's see. Um, Ha! <laughs> TV's Mr. Neo theorizes that next week's lunch break will be Bible Adventures. That is not that far off. Oh my god. <laughs> that, I, I might do that now. <laughs> Don't oh god, no, I would not do that to yeah, my... I mean, I, I'm not going to be here. Personal info, I went to Catholic school. I've had enough Bible Adventures yep, for one me lifetime. Too. <laughs> you, you did it in the Midwest, though, so that's a little scarier. I had East Coast Catholic school. Represent. All right, so... Uh, oh my let's gosh! See. This guy's being a jerk. Rubra brings up there's a side quest during the dinosaur era where you can become a bird, best animal in the game, in his opinion. So you are right, Bob. There is a bird. Oh my god! Oh, Get man, away from me! Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Dude, that guy has. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna save. I don't want to die. All right. Wait. Did you just? <laughs> did you hear that noise? That like boing, boing, boing. Yeah. yeah. What the heck was that? All right. Come on! Come on! How many HP does it take to take out this uh, this rockfish? Can I was you upgrade your jaw. I'm, that's what I'm working on. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, Sorry, stating the obvious. That's okay. That's me. These, <laughs> uh, these guys actually went down a lot easier with the horn attached. That's why. Uh, so we've got a Wikipedia link. I think this is for your fish um, corollary. Let's see. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> the Placo is this a family show? By the way, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, no, uh, well, it's not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so Placodermy. Uh, is an extinct class of armored prehistoric fish known cool. from fossils. This is brought to you by Wikipedia and the uh, the sleuthy work of Delta Kershiva. I can't say I'm pretty right, sure sorry. that these are uh, trilobites that I'm eating now. Yeah, Thankfully, dude. they're really easy and they give a lot of experience. Right, I'm going to show you the photo. Just uh, watch out for that. Oh, uh, oh yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's freaky. Perfect, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, just hang in there, dudes. We're just we're going to. This um, is at the end of the Devonian period. Do, oh. do they do they mention like periods by the way in this game? No, they mention years. Okay. Like you're this many years before Christ or whatever. Mhm. Mm Fascinating. I like that. Very cool. Even in 1992, everyone did their homework when they made games. <laughs> That's right. Well, they. I don't know if you could. I don't know. Hey, hey, that fish is accurate. Wikipedia says so. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I am doing a tiny bit of grinding. It'll be over soon. I just want to get the best yeah, draw. You're on eight HP, by the way. You may want to back out. Uh, what happens if you die? Uh, I believe you have to go back to your last save, and I haven't been saving, but I've been quick saving, which is better than saving. Where do you save normally? Uh, you save through that same menu you level up. Okay. 
So maybe I'll, I'll back out of this and uh, just get some real quick uh, EXP. Yeah, Any tweets coming in on Retronauts? Some, yeah, we've got a few. Um, let's see. What, uh, which one are we read? I think that fish is modeled after the... Uh-oh, we got controversy. Mm -hmm. Two different types of fish. Uh, we got the Placodermy <laughs> and we got the Colacan. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see that one. <laughs> I like how you said, oh, you really know your fish? <laughs> like, the minute uh, I said that, did something, like, no, come into your uh, head? Oh. Okay, yeah. That's it. Uh, that, that seems likely. Mm -hmm. Also, another Devonian uh, temp. Uh, fi oh, God, this just turned into the freaking <laughs> National Geographic. Sci hey, it's Science Week, remember? <laughs> it is Science Week. All right, fine. It's all fair. Wait, is there a good National Geographic video game? Oh, geez. You know that a uh, Kinect game came in our office like two weeks ago or three weeks wasn't ago called Nat uh, Geo? I should have reviewed that that wasn't week. Wasn't that Africa week. game that no everyone wouldn't shut up about like five years ago? Wasn't that a, didn't it come out here as a National Geographic graphics? W did it? Yeah, really? I think it came out as like National Geographic presents uh, Africa. We should have played Africa this week. Oh God! Or why not Pokemon Snap? No, I'm kidding. Um. Uh, <laughs> does that have anything to do with science? I don't know. No. Wildlife photography. How dare you? I guess so. Man, Bob that just rolled his that eyes. That would be that would be a good uh, a good game to sequelize these days. But Pokemon maybe, maybe Wii U. How about that? Yeah, Pokemon yeah. Snap Wii U. Take pictures of oh, Pokemon. Oh, it'd be perfect. Yeah, around with a tablet your house. controller, you're gonna like move that thing around. AR technology is come come out from behind your couch. There's that gonna be a huge Snorlax behind your couch. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Yeah, don't worry, guys. I am moving on after I kill one more of these guys. Yeah, so uh, if you have advice, tips, complaints, critiques, uh, complaints. <laughs> tweet them into <laughs> <laughs> at Retro. I'm kidding. No complaints. Look at these killer. I'm not complaining. Uh-oh. Look at these chompers. That's right. right, dudes. Whoa, you look just like that fish that's been eating you. Yep. Okay. So, yeah, let's, let's, right, let's do see. some saving. Yep. How are we on time? Uh, oh, we got 15 minutes. Yeah, you're cool. doing really well. We're going to go maybe a few minutes over just because we started late. Use that dash, dog. All right. Ah. Why does that dash seem like it's not that fast? It's a little. <laughs> it's it's fast enough to yeah. actually work. Uh oh. You know what? I'm okay. evolved now. Oh. Looks <laughs> like they're they're mating. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> I guess a game in 1992 like this could not tackle the concept of mating, right? Like the uh, way Tokyo Jungle does. Probably not. I mean, Tokyo Jungle does it in like a, a comical way that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sure. It's well, everything else in this game is comedy. That's why I bring it up. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I just wonder, so like, Nintendo said, hell no, <laughs> are you kidding me? Get that out of here. Fish on fish, uh, no. The thing about it, there's, there's no real incentive to mate in this game because everything is so abstracted. Like, you were playing as one animal who is evolving. What, what, what would take, you know, generations of animals to change? You're changing in, like, a second. Sure. And I guess Tokyo Jungle's take is that evolution is through offspring and not through, uh... Well, I mean, you do rank up, and, the, and that affects sort of, like, core stats, but... A uh, majority of <coughs> of the evolution seems to take place through your offspring. Where like now your offspring have those stats, and you want to build those up. That and your accessories. All oh, right. Yeah. Don't forget to your 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 awesome hat. So uh, just to let you guys know, I'm gonna be upgrading to the shell body next, and then we're gonna take on the boss, and maybe see a little bit of the next stage. But uh, mm -hmm. okay. So on Twitter, Twink uh, weighs in. I think we should do a Kickstarter. Uh, to make a game that's a cross between this game and Pokemon, but that's not copyright infringement. <laughs> uh, I think that'd be interesting. I agree. I, l I like that idea. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I don't know what's coming up here, so I'm okay, we're good. And yeah, now this sounds like this also... Uh, I mean, has this theme been playing the entire time? Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's been playing throughout this entire uh, section. Okay, no, because I was just bringing it up. It, it does sound very, like, Dragon Quest friendly again. Um, hmm. That jerk. Oh, come on. So yeah, please, see. Uh, Sorry, yeah, for no, that silence. Okay. I'm reading Twitter. No, so, please uh, tweet into us at Retronauts on mm -hmm. Twitter. Let us know how we're doing. Uh, give us some tips and hints. We're about to reach the boss here. Pixel Dojo says, uh, this game needs a remake. Do you agree? Oh, a yeah. third version would be cool. Spore meets Dark Souls, sort of. I'd love Why to see Why does everyone, it. everything need to be Dark Souls lately? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to no, rant I agree. in a second. Every, yeah. every game should be Dark Souls. No, it's they shouldn't. It's completely inexcusable. It would not be as cool mm. as Dark Souls is because of that. I think uh, I think that, yeah, it stands out because of the uh, I think... Wait, uh, go to the top of the water real quick. You could do your own little oh, jaws yeah. going on here. Hang on, go up. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I like it. I think more games should make you work as much as Dark Souls. I like that meat flows up. Floats yeah. up. I did not notice that until now, too. But, you know, Dark Souls might not even be Dark Souls anymore because of the way they're talking about adding an easy mode. Um, I say I'm a hater when it comes to oh, that. Oh, you don't want that? No. S okay, speak this agenda. If you can't now. handle Dark Souls, get out of the kitchen. <laughs> 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 That's what I'm saying. Jorge Torres says because Dark Souls is amazing. And I agree. I just think that I, I the more I hear another game saying, oh, you know, we want to be like Dark Souls, it's just like, hey, bud, like, 
I don't know. What does that really mean to people? I'm gonna say, you Jose, know? go back, finish Dark Souls, and then then yeah, come then see I get me. to talk. Then um, you'll be like, hey, hey, hey. No, I'm not saying you're you're unqualified. <laughs> I'm saying if you finish the game, you'll know like, okay, every game needs to be like this now. Nah, I'm done. I, I I don't know. I, I I think uh I think games should be difficult, but I don't know exactly what people mean by every game should be like Dark Souls. I guess uh, I want more clarification on a that. A game that trusts you more. A game that doesn't. Insult See, you. That I like because I think for yeah. some people a game like Dark Souls just means something that is more difficult, and I completely disagree if that's the case. Yeah. I think games should be difficult, yeah, but the whole trust thing is it's, more it's not uh, it's not so with. much difficulty as it is like don't lead me down a hallway and then make me do thirty QTEs in a row. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm looking at you, Resident Evil Six. Ooh. <laughs> All Ooh. right, let's uh, let's let's upgrade this. What's happening on the Evo uh, <laughs> episode? Of yeah, Russian all these Oscar. tangents. Mm -hmm. all no, right. it's fine. It's what makes it interesting. So Rue is giving you the pro tip right now. Thanks, Rue. Right? He's saying upcoming tip for the boss: He'll charge at you. If you trick him into charging the wall, he'll be stunned for a short time. Well, gee, that's video a, games don't do that, It's right? a total Little Mermaid uh, yeah. strategy. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, wasn't there a Little Mermaid video game? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what you do with that boss, too. Mm -hmm. But Yeah. So I don't know. Once I get to the Little Mermaid section of Kingdom Hearts, I walk away. The, I go, that's the, it. It's like, how many times have you used that? Yeah. Three, four, five? No. Oh. Three. <laughs> uh, Here we go. Okay, you going to Shark? So wait, how is each zone unlocking? You're just traveling across the whole screen. I, I think because I, I keep looking at Twitter. I, haven't I think seen once everything. you visit them, you can leave and then it opens up a new one. Okay. It's kind of it's kind of free form in that you can go around wherever you want, and the stages don't really have goals. Like that one stage, I just backed out of it and I got and I opened up a new stage. Yeah, yeah. So. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Is there anything else I could buy though before I take the? So boss Pixel on? Dojo clarifies that he meant Dark Souls in the open world grinding aspect. Um, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. you know, like, I'm not. I'm not jumping uh, down your throat, dude. I just feel like the more I keep hearing the Dark Souls thing, the more it turns me off, or just makes me wonder, like, what do you really mean by that? I say. Uh, so I'm glad, Bob. You know, you clarified your position. Right. I, I would like if more people chose to kind of do that instead of just saying, "Make it like Dark Souls." Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Uh, uh, did Bob just admit to playing the Little Mermaid video <laughs> game? Twink hey, says, I think he did. Dude, you can go back to the tape. 1990, I was an eight-year-old kid. Give You're me a break. Kidding. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, for NES, yeah, it, was, it, was like, it was a Capcom and Disney game. Did you have uh, Sebastian bedsheets? Uh, I did, not I had Aladdin bedsheets, though. Okay, very nice. Secrets. Very nice. <laughs> Secrets. All right, this is all the, the, the Mackie secrets hey, come out. Hey, I admitted to playing the Little Mermaid game on the uh, Disney uh, Capcom version oh. of Retronauts. So where were you, uh, Twink? You should go and listen to that. Yeah, really. Because that episode was really good. You just you just outed yourself mm. as being Ooh. ignorant. Of uh, hey, hey, <laughs> damn, ouch. Okay. <laughs> just kidding. It's okay. Cross and Mackie, get a burn. <laughs> uh, moving on. Let's see. Dude, what is that thing? What? These are like trilobites. Okay. Yeah, because they're annoying. All right, I there we go. I think I can do one more thing. Dorsal fin upgrade. Okay. I want this bad boy before I go on. Let's see it. How I'm, much more do you need? I just need 10 more. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's up with that? I like that. That that is that totally fits that Looney Tube vibe we were talking about earlier. Yeah. yeah. Very, very nice. I don't think actual trial bites can do that. Well trial bites are, are messing you up. Man, this phone doesn't stop vibrating. So yeah, anything coming in on Twitter? Uh let's speaking of uh Twitter, TV's Mr. Neo Axe. Uh speaking of retronauts, will there be an episode today? Uh, no, it's my turn this week. Yeah, and, uh, sorry. Yeah. But Bob's on it, so you can <laughs> you can pretend it's retronauts. Yeah, but I had it's to not delay. a retro game either. Retronauts may be, end up being every three weeks instead of every two weeks yeah, for the rest we've of been the year. About this. Just because yeah. of uh I've had a lot of duties. Uh, we've all had a lot of duties. Yeah. Season I'm not saying yeah. yeah. Don't don't I'm not trying to say that I'm the only one, but <laughs> sure. we've we've all had to do a lot more stuff just because of all the games coming out and mm -hmm. it's harder to justify spending a lot of time doing research for podcasts and I like to do a lot of research for podcasts. Yeah, and and you know, we we know and acknowledge that people love to listen to podcasts, but we actually like to plan those shows. Yeah, we don't just I, hit record. I like to put a lot of work. Happens. Them, yeah. yeah, like Bob has pages and pages of notes. Yeah. I usually take a lot of time just planning like guests and what we're talking about. So like, yeah, so um, probably but all three podcasts are going to be on a three-week the, the show will go on and you, get, you know what? You get an hour of this every week. And you get a Retronauts next week. Oh. Yeah. Isn't it your turn next week? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Good, yeah. Cause I, got I the love week after. this. Look, the seaweed whisper to one another. Oh, nice. Friends, the stroll lights are trying to create a new world using oxygen. Okay. There's going to be a seaweed revolt here. 
Mm, okay, so we're getting reactions to your Retronauts uh, announcement. Uh oh. We need more, not less. Please do more. That's an that's an informal announcement. Uh, like I said, if if that's the tr if that's the truth, it'll probably only happen until the end of the year. Yeah, and then we can go back to two yeah. weeks. This is a really hard time of the year. I remember when I used to do Retronauts every week, and it was an hour and a half. That was. <laughs> That was what pretty. What the hell, really? That, that's when we had twice the staff, though. Oh, so, okay, so you yeah. can see the luxury of having free time. What, yeah, what it can yeah. do for you? Exactly. I don't think I'd ever do that. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, if I if I had the ability to do that, I would love to do that. But it's mm -hmm. hard. It's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yes, please watch uh, lunch break so we can keep doing it. Yeah, and check out today's games, damn it, while you're at it. Uh, I would do that. I'm Bo Bob's on it. Uh, and we're talking to Harvey Smith and Rafael Colantaniano. Yeah, I, I'm probably saying his name wrong, but Raf Ralph C. Uh, from Arcane Studios about Dishonored, a uh, game that Bob gave an A+. Plus. Yep. I yeah, think so. my first A+, plus on 1-Up. Uh, it is. You tried to give Star Fox an A+, plus and I got shot down. <laughs> <laughs> I was there. Wow. <laughs> Outed. I, I forget what I gave it. Uh, 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 it you ended up giving you an A, I think. Yeah. Star Fox, yeah. The, the remake on 3DS. It's, good, it's a good uh, remake. Oh, yeah, for sure. A really good game. Mm -hmm. um, One of the better ones we've played this year, I'll say that. Or last year. Last year, yeah. Well, I finally played it this year. <laughs> oh, you played it this year. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. How about that? You, did you play? Is that your first playthrough of Star Fox 64? Uh, it ever? is. Yeah. Okay. The only game I bought an N64 for. Uh, there are actually two. It was to uh, obviously try Mario, but then Zelda. Like I had to have whatever system a Zelda is on. So even if it meant just getting it for one game, you see the crazy things I buy. You know this is yeah. like totally fits my <laughs> uh, my style of living. I thought you got eaten. By the way, I'm sorry. Oh no. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh no. Poop. Hold on. Okay, we're good. So yes. are you going to get these legs? What's the deal? Uh, we get legs in the next stage. Okay. The goddess uh, grants us legs for killing a shark. Wait, there's a goddess? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember her now. I'm serious about that effect on her hair, by the way. I've never seen a 3D game have like a texture like that that's sort of like moving and doing something. Even though yeah, it's it like a on, a, on a static. It like was a cool effect. They were like, mm -hmm. hey, the super... Come on, you jerk shark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, is that the boss? No. Are you kidding okay. me? I was about to say, that's it? Uh, I think I might be able to upgrade another thing. Wait, what do you have to upgrade? What do you want? Uh, if I upgrade, I'll get all my health back. This is like a this is like a bad uh, example of plastic surgery and what it'll do to you. <laughs> like, look at you. You're like, oh, what can I get next? Wait, what did it do? Um, it gave me a dorsal fin. Oh, okay. So now it's purple, but it gave me all my health back, which is which was good because every time you evolve, you get all your health back. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I did not know that. Very nice. So I believe that the boss is in here. So Jorge Torres is asking if you're playing with a keyboard. No, he's playing with an Airflow. Why yeah. did you plug that in? You have a Super Nintendo yeah, controller. Yeah, it's at home. <laughs> oh, okay. All done. Oh, wow. Check out that shark. Knowing this is the domain of the... Of the... <laughs> of, the of the pause. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to say that. I'm sure that... Can you look that Kurasilachi? up, Jose? Can you look that up on your iPad? See if that's a real thing? Uh, you got to give me time to spell that. Kurasilache. God. All right. Anyone know that's time. a real thing? Can I can I move can I move away? Yeah, from you this? can okay. go. You can go. Okay, Kurosalache, Kurosalache. The C uh, is the first only thing it brought up is an Evo video. Uh oh, <laughs> the C is the only world. AKA. Oh my God, there's Kurosalache fan fiction. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> that's, look at this that's guy. the uh, that's the fourth entry on Google. Oh wow, remember, get him to hit the the, the wall. Ru Ru uh, has Ru has help. I'm gonna spoken. say easier said than done. <laughs> uh, there's a wall right there. Yeah, but he doesn't go to the wall. Oh, he's smart enough to turn around. All right, wait. Come on. This is like a bullfight. You gotta... Oh, God. But it's okay. We have the power of technology. <laughs> Loaded. Oh, that's so cheap. Look how cheap that was. <laughs> I'm so glad I saw that. And you should be at home, too. That was great. All right, Shark Very Boy. Nice. All right, uh, some questions. Speaking of N64 games on the 3DS, Zelda didn't impress me on 3DS compared to having a bigger screen. What do you guys think? I completely agree. If you read Jeremy's review of Zelda Ocarina, it did nothing. Oh, my God. Uh, this guy's going to... Uh, <laughs> it, it did nothing for me, but I'm not a big fan of uh, remakes in the visual sense. I don't think... I think, you know, the, the notion of a remake of a re-release shouldn't just focus on a visual perspective. This guy is rough. I forgot how hard Bob's these bosses busy, are. Bob's a little busy, so he's not going to answer this yeah. one. Just, what are the, what's the question? <laughs> uh, it's Don't Die, Bob Maggie. I'll try not to. This, yeah. this guy is giving me a hard time. I like the music. Very nice. Total Dragon Quest boss music. Yeah, he's not running into rocks. Oh. I think if you... There, he oh, just did it, it there. happened. All right. Yeah, that happened. Somewhere exactly. Rue is like, dude. <laughs> oh, he said definitely easier said than done. Funny. Yeah. I just refreshed and that came up. Yeah, Rue, we're trying. 
Yeah, I gotta say the bosses in this game kind of bring it down for me. Okay. Um, I can't imagine. I don't think I've finished this game without save states. Oh, you oh, bastard. Oh, you got him, you got him, you got I'm him. I'm gonna kill the Stork now. <laughs> First you gotta fight him. You know him. what? I'm sick of this. <laughs> Uh, all right, sorry. I'm like cat. I'm like just oh, mouth mouth agape. See, you're doing it now. Oh wow, that tail. What a jerk. And you don't have any idea of what what this is doing to him. Like you don't see like a health meter or something. No, I don't know fight. if he's got like 300 health points left or what. All right, let's keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sassy fish. All right, man. I don't like starting off like that. <laughs> who who designs this? Who designs a game like this? Bob Mackie wants answers, people. Yeah. I'm Get able the angler's horn to make him charge the wall more easily. Oh. Do you have enough? Uh, That's have true. Enough that, that was a hint. I'm going to try to. <laughs> 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 leave me alone. Oh, man. Oh, I can't leave. Oh, you can't leave. All right. Can I, can I buy the horn? Nope. Can't no, do that. Oh, shit. Whoa. See that little death move you just had a second ago? Oh, God. Yeah. That's okay. We're gonna keep doing this. Right. <laughs> please, you're not leaving. Please it's three minutes too, Bob. So you oh. need to really. No, I, I mean I don't care. We can go over. I have a meeting at one though. Oh, okay, <laughs> we'll go over maybe a few minutes. All right. I do want to beat this guy, but geez, oh can man. Can we can we have lunch <laughs> next time on lunch break? I just thought we had. Yeah, I'd like. So Bob, <laughs> how about that fish? As a matter of fact, I wish I was having a tuna sandwich right now. <laughs> He's a jerk. This yeah. fish. That's that, that, that. <laughs> He didn't hit the wall. He should have. Yeah. There All right, go. happened there. All right. Oh, come on. Oh, Give me man, at least... It takes a while to get back to Artem. Yeah, he doesn't stay stunned very long. That's tough, man. All right, on Twitter. Um, mm -hmm. So when does this thing spin off into Street Sharks? I don't know. Bob's a little busy, so I'm going to yeah. leave that one alone. Uh, I'm going to say uh, that this Twink game... Twink is asking me to read some Kulisanch, Kulisach, uh, whatever, fan I'm fiction to us. going to say this boss is not Jossum. <laughs> Did you really just say that? I went there. Wow. Hey, what's up? Oh, snap. So wait, uh, right now if there was a someone keeping score, the shark would be five, Bob Mackey <laughs> zero. All right, one up zero. I'll, I'll hey, don't don't lump all of one in one up in with my failure. Yeah. Okay. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. That was a good move. Yeah. That's a there you go. There you go. I think the key is getting away. Yeah, I think like it's it's kind of like one of those boss fights where you just need to get two quick hits in and then get the hell away from them. The game definitely. Uh, mm-hmm. Uh, wow, he's got some wicked angles. Yeah, too. he can take out half your health in just two bites. Oh wow! Uh, I hate this guy so much. Holy cow! So uh, Mike Z of IGN, really awesome uh, video producer, just came by to show me that on this is an eBay listing, right? An eBay listing for Evo Search for Eden for Super Nintendo, a complete set, uh, box, manual, everything, is going for $1,249.99. So I guess this game is kind of rare. And you've <laughs> got 14 days, baby, and it's shipping from Washington. Uh, but yeah, wow, that's crazy. I say you could probably I buy it. Earthbound you could probably buy an actual shit. shark and fight it yourself for that much money. <laughs> oh, come on, really? <laughs> Wow, ah. just the cartridge is about. That's that's sort of like Earthbound. I know Earthbound this doesn't go. I, I rarely see an auction that goes over a thousand, but that happens too. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm talking to Mike Z while we're on this. Okay. By the way, yeah, my bad, people. Social football. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this game, like, I never saw it anywhere, so I, gu I guess it was rare. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, Mike, do you have a copy? Uh, okay, he says he wish. M Mike has a really awesome collection <laughs> of Super <laughs> Nintendo games that he showed me once, and. I yeah, Jeremy and I, our draws just like dropped when we went by your desk that day. Yeah. Saying, just saying. It's a fool's errand, Mackie. That comes from Rue, by the way. It's okay. Uh, hey, Rue, have you like ha have you beaten this guy? I think I've watched his video on this game. I'm pretty sure he has one. So, Rue, the question's on you. Uh, I'm not reading Curlissage <laughs> fan fiction, especially after this. It's probably some really freaky shit. Yeah. Yeah. Only because of the nature of this boss fight. Get down, get down, get down. Okay, I, I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna make an offer. If you can't in three more tries, can you pass me the controller? Tell me the buttons involved, oh, and I will we'll try. We'll see. Yeah, I will can do you that. Let me. Will yeah. you let me give it a shot. I'm sure it's incre incredibly frustrating for everyone watching, but God, no, this guy is hard. No, I'm, I'm not frustrated. No, I mean, I, I, I just want to. I just, I can't stress enough how annoying this boss is. <laughs> this is, this is where Evo lets me down. Yeah. This game could be a lot better if the bosses weren't so friggin. Rough. Get away, get away, get away, get away. 
See, you took 15 off there, but he swings his tail once, and he's got like 13 on you. Which At is least just they not give cool. me. Oh crap! Ooh, nice. Okay. So I think hang I hang out by the rocks. Oh, you got stunned yourself. <laughs> Shit! Come on, you jerk! Come here! Come on! Wait for you. Mackie's pain is your pleasure. Oh, on Retronauts come on. lunch break. All right. <laughs> Sorry. I think I developed a strategy. Sorry, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> right out of the gate. Hold a finger on that D-pad. Well, you, got, you have to actually go diagonal. Oh, uh, okay. Gross. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. Like, get that get that started. Like, cook that before oh, it even goes. How can you even... <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not even talking to you. This episode is going to be amazing. <laughs> I know. Oh. <laughs> All right. Are, do we still have people watching this? <laughs> is, anyone, is anyone on Twitter? Please. <laughs> What is Rue saying? I'm sorry. Uh, he hasn't said anything. Oh, I'm okay. still waiting for it to refresh. Okay, please please tweet in your support. Remember, there's also a delay, so people at home are probably still The delay is not that us. big. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Mackie unhinged. Oh, my God. This guy sucks. I hate him. All right, him. I'm done. No more laughing. Okay. Professional. All right, so. Professional. Um, yeah, That's I'm trying. <laughs> I'm being cool. All right. This I'm gonna, is hilarious. I'm gonna All right. So, we're waiting for, uh, <laughs> David Oxford said he's watching. A lot of, uh, I'm still watching, but I'm a glutton for punishment, says Twink. Oh, my fucking So, we're God. all still here, Jorge <laughs> Torres says. We are watching you. I was going to say fail miserably, but that's not fair. This is really an unfair fight. Yeah, hey. Get away, get away, get away, get away. I, oh. I think he's down to his last health. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So am I, though, unfortunately. Oh, yes, yes. All right. Who's it gonna be? Me. You got it. Fuck yes. you, shark. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, I, I deserve. I deserve at least one F word after threw doing his that. controller. Yes. That was really cool. God, what is I that? I feel like every lunch break we do, there's some horrible. We're over overcoming mm -hmm. adversity. It's like becoming a thing. I, yeah. I finished the damn level in Ninja Turtles. Um, jeez, oh man. All right. All right. Thanks, you, guys. You have like four more minutes of my time. Okay. I have to yeah. Go to hey, meeting. thanks for watching. I swear to. Jeez, oh man. <laughs> Need to breathe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you did good, man. I'm, I'm. I, I know that was cool. God. Yeah, thanks oh, for. You got bubbles. All right. Oh wow. Ooh. Wait, are you controlling any of that? Yeah, I was. Oh okay. I was gonna say, what the hell? So yeah, this has been Retro Sludge Break. I want to see this thing with legs, or we're not going anywhere. Oh no, we're gonna the see it. Sludge Break will continue. People take two-hour lunches all the time. <laughs> all right, so. Check it out, guys. I'm wow. a big dorky slow lizard. I am Gaia, the fish, fish age. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. Now we're in the land nice age. Job. All right, Pixel Dojo says best episode ever. I believe in you, Bob. Uh, that came from Raw. Less horizontal, more vertical. Oh, this is all like advice on how to fight the fish. Yeah. Um, <coughs> look you at have this. evolved into a retro gaming god, says Mike C. <sighs> Thank you. Uh, look at this dork. I'm <laughs> controlling. Look at this dorky animal. Oh, weird. Whoa. That's cool. I forgot about that. Oh wow. Wait, is that the door from uh, 2001? That's what, <laughs> that's what, that's what that? it looks yeah. like. I think it's it's got it's got to be an homage. Okay. Uh, so let's just get to the next level super quick, so okay. we can um, maybe yeah. I can fast forward even. Yeah, let's, look at let's that. Let's get Jose to his meeting. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. I'm I'm cool. Yep. So as you can see, I'm a weird looking lizard. Whoa! <laughs> I like that jump. And you have evolved again. Now oh wait. Oh really? So if you get in the water, you evolve into yeah. a certain form. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's weird. So yeah, that this has been Evo Search for Search for Eden, which goes for a whole lot of uh, cash right now if on eBay. If you've got one lying around, I'm gonna say try to emulate it. If you've got a thousand dollars just sitting around, uh, send it to me. <laughs> yeah, but <before laughs> don't buy you, it. You buy the game. Oh, is that what you're gonna tell me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm uh, not gonna buy this. So yeah, uh, what what's coming up on One Up? We can just tell people about. Uh, New podcast next week. Yeah. Um, Games Damn It this week. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we talked about that. Um, reviews next week. You got Assassin's Creed and Halo in the same oh week. Oh my God, you guys are uh, gonna kill Jose. Not with that those. the retro audience would care about that, but if you do care about Assassin's Creed or Halo, those are mine, and you're gonna be reading about them. So deal with it. Yep. And yeah. I guess that's it for us. So yeah, you got uh, some cool features coming up next week. I do. I, I don't want people. I, yeah, no, don't. I won't give them away. There, but but uh, um, yeah, yeah, definitely look, look for that. Yep. Okay, guys, thanks for joining us. Sorry we started late, and uh, we'll see you next week for a new hour of whatever. Where was Rue? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here it is. Uh, he did tweet in. Uh, he's he tough. Probably the hardest boss in the game. Took me about 30 tries from safe states. Thank Don't you. Don't know how I beat him in the 90s. Wait, he didn't beat him in the 90s. Oh, well. Well, yeah, if you play the original card. Right. Anyway, yeah, we're going to get out of here. Thanks, So Rube. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next week. Yep. Later.